Millions of people will vote in next week's midterm elections. Here in Minnesota, we have one of the highest turnouts in the country. But determining who won from governor down to school board takes a lot of work. So how is your vote counted? Good question. WCCO's Heather Brown walks us through the process with Ramsey County and the Associated Press. We'll start with this. I fill out my ballot, put it in the machine. Where does it go? So uh, there's two, two answers to that. Number one, if you voted by mail, the county ballot board and that ballot board has both DFLers and Republicans on Correct. it. Opens the envelope, no. accepts or rejects the ballot, then sorts it, processes it. I think there's 18 steps. And sends it through the scanners. But nothing will be tabulated and counted until 801 on election night. Now to answer number two. If you vote in person, you put your ballot into the box. But it's programmed not to report a result until 801 when the judges have put in a code and then it will print that report. In Ramsey County, someone from each precinct actually drives that report to the county headquarters. In almost every other county, it's sent wirelessly and securely. And once they're there, the absentee and in-person votes are combined. We merge those results into one, and that's what gets sent to the Secretary of State, and that's what your viewers will see on election night. While this is happening here, at the same time, the Associated Press is also watching the vote totals. And they're partnering with media organizations, including right here, at WCCO. We have stringers in almost every single county. Ryan Scanlon is the head of election services for the AP. We'll have over 4,000 stringers on the ground. Those reporters call in to the AP's vote center, where people there gather that data. They gather results from Secretary of State and local election offices, too. The one thing that all of those sources have in common is that they go through AP's you know, vote verification process. That's a group of experts who've studied any changes in election laws, any changes in rules, how the votes are going to be released that night. They'll flag any numbers that don't look right. So it's some sanity checks uh, mixed with some real deep uh, math. Do you still do exit polls? We do not. We have replaced that with what we call AP VoteCast which is a huge sample of over 100,000 interviews of registered voters. Who they talk with all the way up until the polls close. How do you declare a winner right after polls close? Well, it's a combination of things. They're looking at, you know, the pre-election polls. They're looking at historical voting trends, registration totals. They're looking at similar races. And in the races that take hours or days. Certainly a historic moment as well. If there's any path at all, for the trailing candidate to take over the leading candidate. We leave it uncalled until we're confident. How confident should voters be that this is all secure? Very confident. We're, I think, right now at close to 80 uh, citizens who are helping support elections in Ramsey County. Uh, and that transparency and all the checks uh, really should provide a lot of confidence to Ramsey County voters. Heather Brown, WCCO 4 News. For big national races, CBS News also has teams watching the numbers and analyzing them in real time. That way we can bring you results as quickly and accurately as possible.